You're now listening to TF4 Podcast with Kara. It's like Club Penguin, but like when you get into your high school years. <laughs> Natasha. Send us your dildos and we'll autograph them. Fox. I do it, excuse me. And myself, Marcus. I can't help that I'm sexy. But let me tell you. I'm man the man. It sounds so nice to hear my voice again. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Call me conceited. I don't care. It's yeah, awesome because it's been two fucking weeks. Yeah, way too long. Uh, yeah, we did a lot of moving and stuff. I know. Ow. I'm I trying to get adjusted. Too over here. much moving. I know. Oh yeah. You can move the mic to you instead of moving. I know, yeah, but I want to so lean on the <laughs> table because my back hurts from all this coughing and crap. Oh. So what's good. going on with you over there? I have bronchitis. Yeah. And it makes me. And you're in my house. Want, yeah. It's not contagious. It's not. Th- is it? Is it though? No. no, it's not contagious. It better not be. We both were, we both were extremely sick. How sick have you guys gotten? Uh, you know, exactly. we have had this stuffy nose thing going on, and I thought I, had I, a wish I, I only had a stuffy yeah. nose. I think yeah, the stuffy you. nose thing is from moving and all the dust that we've been inhaling. Oh my, and I've been stuff. sneezing. I have a stuffy nose. So and maybe every when it's day. like really yeah. cold and putting a fan directly on you. Do you want me to turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Card, I've got the sentimental blanket of yours. I don't care. Yeah. Let me turn it off. On. I just Don't cover my face. Can Let you me turn still it hear me like Hold this? Yes. <laughs> Go oh, ahead. Kara, all you. Um, anyways, muffled? we are back. TF4 podcast episode 34. Um, wow, we're really just climbing up there, aren't we, in the episodes? I mean, we'd be at 35 if we had podcast in the past week. Oh, uh, yeah. Two yeah, our bad. Weeks. True, but two weeks. we got a lot we of were, stuff we going were on. Moving Life studios. Happens. You know, Dustin texts me. Yeah. And he was like, Where the um, fuck is the podcast? He's like, Is there a podcast this week? And I was like, Nope. And there's not one next week either. I love him. I know. He's I so great. Him. I so appreciate him. Sorry, Dustin. So much. Um, but uh, we are glad to be back. I am Kara. I'm Natasha. I am Vox. I'm Marcus. And uh, you guys can visit us on tf4podcast.com. Um, you can listen and download episodes, check out our blog posts and updates. Vox has been updo- updating quite a few blog posts over the past few, maybe not the last not week the, or two not the past when we've two been super busy, so, yeah. but there's some blog posts up there. Go check them out. Um, for listening, you can find our episodes on whatever your go-to podcast app is, um, including iTunes, Podcast Addict, CastBox, Podbean, Podbean, pretty much everything except for Spotify and Oh, oh, sorry. There I, I go. To, God damn it. <laughs> Tasha's messing with her mic. So <laughs> I mess with mine and too. And iHeartRadio, right? We're not on iHeartRadio. We are not on iHeartRadio. Um, please do subscribe wherever you're listening from and leave us a review and a rating. It's a great way to help support us for free. It also goes a long way towards promoting us and gaining popularity. Um, you can also find us on Facebook by searching for TF4 Podcast. We've got a page up there. We put weekly updates, share our episodes. We didn't have an update last week because we didn't have a podcast last week. Oops. Um, but do drop us a like and a follow. Um, it helps you stay connected and helps us you know, connect with you guys a bit more. Uh, we have a lot of new stuff up on Redbubble as well. Um, you can get backpacks, yeah. pillowcases. Dildos yeah. are not out yet. Um, we're working on it. Though. We're working on it, though. We've got new stickers. Um, I know that Mark's sticker is up there. It's Mark's a custom sticker. Yep. If you're a huge fan of Marcus over the rest of us. Um, you should yeah. be because I'm the best. <laughs> um, I don't, we'll have to talk about what one's next. But Marcus is yeah. the ours, bearded wonder ours sticker are coming. I think they're very, they're very well suited for all of us. I think so. Um, but we do have mugs, phone cases, that kind of stuff still. Everyone um, get mugs of my face. <laughs> mugs of your face. Uh, this is my beard. Beard this, mugs. I want one so bad. You can make it look it's like a, you have a, a beard when you drink. Mark mug. And I also found out how to enhance the picture so it fits the mug. Because That's on amazing. The, on the TF4 one, um, the, just the logo, it's it's a little weirdly shaped. Which it stretches why, it a little. Which is why your your Mine fills mug. like the whole mug. Yeah, and I didn't necessarily want that. I wanted it to be more middle, bigger picture, not mm-hmm. stretching the whole thing. I like it. I figured yeah. out how to it, fix it. It, it so. fit it really well. It didn't like pixelate it or anything like that. Yeah, it was really good. nice print. But but yeah, that'll be nice if it's a better si- like, situation on there. I have to find something to order with my beard on it. Um, we do appreciate my, you guys my, purchasing all this stuff. It goes to support our growth. We all we Obviously, we get a portion of... Um, whatever purchases you make um, and it helps to have you guys rocking our logos every day um, we're also out on YouTube we've got um, some episodes launched up there what do, what do we have on there right now? we have all of the current ones after 26 Seven. it starts at 27 so 27 through 33 I, I, 28. I don't need, I don't think it so. starts at 28 okay so whatever yeah. whatever one it is it's it's current up until 
obviously this one will be up. Yeah. So if you just so. search for TF4 podcast, um, it'll bring it bring us up on YouTube. You can like and subscribe. If you hit the little bell icon, um, you'll be notified whenever we put new posts up as well. Um, and of course, if you enjoy us so much that you'd like to help us out financially, you can become a patron at patreon.com. Just search for, search for TF4 podcast and you'll see a variety of different reward tiers. Um, we've got some awesome stuff in exchange for your support, including stickers and some custom stuff that That's we've right. made. So. That's Damn it. Right. You know what I forgot? What did you forget? Tidbits. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. I can't let us go without it. We can't have it without the tidbits. Um, it was pretty smooth. You're you're sick as shit, but pretty smooth. Yeah. I, like I feel it. like I'm so far away from you guys. So far like, Mark, away. you're so far. I can't even. Oh, there we, we go. We can touch tips. Okay. It, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just so weird. I'm used to being right like in front of Vox elbow face. to elbow to yeah, everyone. It's, it's, it used to be a circular table. Now it's ovular. Yeah, we got a ovular. New, ovular. That's a word. Ovular. No, I don't know. <laughs> it might not be. No. <laughs> ovular is we, definitely not. A we word. are currently sitting. What time? Elliptical. How about that? It's quarter after ten on a wonderful Saturday. We're sitting in the basement. It's Three a.m. in the new morning. Studio. Got my key of in the, the door. new studio. Yay. What? 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 Is that a song? Yes. I don't know that one. I've been coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Stop it. it. Mine was Eminem, which was very on point. <laughs> I, okay. Mark. <laughs> Rox and I are going to go at it. I'm here. about to just. How do you live? Out? My question is, how do you live <laughs> in Michigan and not like Eminem? Fuck Eminem, man. But you have to have some sort of loyalty because he's such a big no. artist. No, no, you and don't. He's no. no, you don't. Tell me something. Do you like Kid Rock? I don't mind his music. Because honestly, fuck Kid Rock. I don't oh, know. Well, oh. I like he that. Has, he has some good songs. I like that all summer long. Other than that, so. I don't want him to representing my my state. I don't <laughs> like his music, but I I like him. Like I like. How do you feel about Tim Allen? He likes his politics. Do you love Tim Allen? Tim, Tim Allen? Tim he Allen. represents Michigan. Um, Does he represent Michigan? Yes, uh, yes. I don't really have a feeling towards He was born Tim and raised Allen. in Pontiac, I believe. Yeah, what about Jack White? Nah. What? Fuck the White Stripes. Well. They have one good song. Jack White's only ever played one good song in his life. Seven Wait, is the good yeah. song the one that I'm gonna find a mom? Dun, 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 dun. No, he, they have a lot of good music. <laughs> the White Stripes does. And, and, and then and Jack's his sister, solo stuff. His sister, is it, it, is, it, it no, is his sister, right? No, is his sister-in-law? Were, no, they were married. Were they? Yeah, they were married. Could have sworn they were related. They're not related. In a way. They were he was married. married to his sister. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is turning real bad. Was that? <laughs> what? It, it was his wife. Kentucky. I, yeah. I could have sworn it was his sister in law. No, no, no. It was his brother's wife. No, they were. They were married. At he was some married point. to his brother's wife. Uh, no. He was married no. to his God, brother's wife, no. and they had children with their. He was cousin married sisters. to his sister's well, brother's her, wife. Her last name was White. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were married. Because they were white. <laughs> hey. What? Eleanor Roosevelt's last name was Roosevelt before she got married. But okay. what? We're not pulling the you Beatles. You didn't know that? Yeah, but we're not <laughs> pulling the Beatles. <laughs> Eleanor Roosevelt. What? You didn't know that? You it know, might some, stink. I'm taking my shoes off. You know what? For some <laughs> reason, I thought you meant Eleanor Rigby, which just came in my head. Because that's why I said Beatles. I was like, we're not pulling the Beatles. Why would you think that when he said Roosevelt? Because Eleanor very like, clearly. immediately went to Eleanor Rigby. I don't know. Shame. Roosevelt. Okay. So you're talking about the president. You related right? it to music. I related it to a cousin marrying a cousin. Yeah. So <laughs> as much as you want to avoid it, Eminem. Mm-mm. I listened to his new stuff. I got about halfway through the album and I just turned it off. His album's pretty goddamn good. So the only reason I listened to it was to hear the insults. His album? But but I only listened to Kamikaze. I didn't listen to anything So here's here's my question, though. Did he bash all these rappers to get people to listen to this new album? Fuck yeah, Just to get the attention? Are you kidding me? Because this is doing way better than his last few albums. Because his last few albums suck. This is why... Hang on. This this is my theory behind this. Eminem... Eminem did one of three things, okay? One, he bashed all these rappers uh-huh. to get a popular album. Or, two, he bashed all these rappers because he honestly wants to bash these rappers and they kind of fucking it suck. Maybe a little bit of both. So. And, I think it's and, both. And he wants to bring back real hip-hop, rap, whatever you want to call it. Listen, there's, there's so and, many. Or, three, this is a predetermined thing that him and MGK got together on Mm-mm. doing to... No to bring back the music scene. Conspiracies. Conspiracies. I'm telling you. I, I, that's a part of what I believe. Because it took three days for MGK to respond to Eminem. Three days to fully produce he was a super music inspired, video. Marcus. 
to fully produce a music he's video. MGK has <laughs> never been that inspired to do anything Did else. Did he make a Isn't he a white boy? Right? Yeah. He's a, like, he's really he's tatted a up. Tall, he skinny white boy. He's awful. He looks like Skeletor. Yeah, kind of. Who's Skeletor from? I don't know. You can't reference this. He-Man. He's from He-Man. <laughs> Okay. He looks like Skeletor. Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know who he is. I just don't know what he's from. I'm just fucking with you, Josh. No, you're good. Um, the amount of times where I sing a song, what's that? Uh, who sings that? I'm like, I don't know. I, I just have know to quiz song. her. Yeah. She, you I gotta do the know. Same thing if you're gonna her. reference things, you gotta know. I what wasn't it's referencing it. I was just singing it. You reference. I gotta say, MGK's song was oh, pretty he did goddamn make good. A music video. I don't know. Yeah, he made a full video, produced yeah. it all. Like you're telling me he did that in three days? I don't think so. No. Yeah. He, it's predetermined. It's pre-planned. I like the conspiracy th- behind that. I I think I, I Mark really, doesn't like MGK, but that I thought it was I'm clever. I'm not a big. I, I don't hate it was a very MGK. Clever response. Yeah, I'm not. A, I don't hate MGK, but realistically, like that song was the song was good. Had a great sound to it. Had mm. a good flow. Yeah. I just feel like his disses were lame. Like half of it was you're old, you're good, you're not, you're bad. Like, come on, I, your beard is weird. That's, okay, come on. Just the the whole Eminem thing, though. Like, I feel like anyone who bashes on someone is clearly trying to just get that attention because yes. the fans of the people that he's bashing are like, "What? Fuck this guy!" Like, yeah. I'm a huge Kendrick fan, so or you, I'm a huge. So you know, MJK you know, immediately that whatever. that person's gonna find out about it because you know, Twitter and social media is a big thing. Oh, it blows up instantly. It blows up instantly, right. especially when you have the amount of followers that Eminem does. And mm-hmm. and what what makes me believe that they got together to work on this was the fact that Eminem came Eminem came out with an album told nobody yeah it was a secret album you're telling me he worked on that in a few days no a weeks no 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 that was it time. was like three weeks between uh mgk's tweet about Haley and eminem's album no, that dropping. was from years ago mark well no, no no he did it he did a tweet years ago what he retweeted it Haley? again he called Haley hot he, <laughs> he retweeted it again and put and said something in a song and, oh yeah there's and three weeks later eminem Uh-oh. drops an album dissing him yeah. Uh, come on. Uh, here's one thing that I'll say positive about that. I love when artists do that. They're not. They don't advertise anything. Oh, I think they, that's awesome. They, yeah. I mean, Twenty One Pilots kind of was doing the same yeah. thing. We knew that they went into into silence and they didn't. They we knew that there was music coming, but all of a sudden, just bam, out of nowhere, right. here's a song. They don't know? announce and that. music video. Right. And a mu- it, music videos that are telling a story. Like there's there's planned out things. In Eminem's case, one I've never been a fan of Eminem. I, I, I get be. it. Some people yeah, were like, yeah. oh, you know, his first yeah, album there's a little bit of, was, There's a little bit of hometown loyalty, but at the same time, it's like, well, there's that. so what? And But the people, that, like guys that I work with are saying, oh, well, I grew up with Eminem. Like, his first album came out when I was in high school. Awesome. You know, I was, the shit that I've listened to when it came out in high school, I'm still listening yeah. to, you know, because his, I've, his I've been. His first album came out when I was in middle school. I've been listening to Eminem since I was like. 11, 10, 11. Do so I what? like Slim Shady? Like the real Slim Shady? The yes. Slim Shady LP? It was yeah. good. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm there was great. nothing recent from 2018 that that he, happened. He reshared it, I think. No. Uh, I could have sworn he either he retweeted it or like his fans retweeted no. it. Everything that's listed on there that was I'm sure like, at some point there was a retweet yeah. that was put, posted. Well, yeah. There was Regarded something like something made it something made it relevant years, again. And then I doubt that's it. when Eminem responded. Otherwise, you're telling me that Eminem's responding no, to that's, that's something that's the that point MGK, of MGK said six that's years the ago? the point of MGK's song is he's saying, it took you six years to come back and diss me about something that I said about your daughter. That's what he's Emin- saying. But Eminem's, song. yeah, yeah. Eminem's songs weren't just directed at, at MGK. Right. The th- what, he's saying this like, is like, that's, part that's of my, the one thing that yeah. you could find right. to diss me. That's but this, the point. This is, this is a part of why I have this theory, theory on it is because MG, er, uh, Eminem dissed how many rappers in his songs? A lot, probably like eight. A lot, a lot of a lot of current rappers, and a lot of people took offense to what he said about Lil Yachty, and he didn't diss Lil Yachty at all. He just said Lil Yachty's not his style. What I don't get though, I'm reading the tweet right now. Okay, so I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter, and I have to say she is hot as fuck in the most respectful way possible because Em is king. And then he posts a song dissing him. When he just M- called no, him. Eminem he's, him he's literally yeah. overall the what? song was meant to bash modern modern rap. rappers and how but different Eminem their sound is from no the classical rap oh sound. Gosh. So that's Eminem. what his point was. Eminem at no point ever in his career has been classic hip hop, in my opinion. No, he's not classic hip hop. He's Cla- white gangster rap. Mark, classic hip hop. Name one. Biggie. Just Classic hip hop, Kara, name one. I don't know. Come on. I don't listen to classic hip hop. You know something that comes to mind that when you say classic hip hop, hip hop music. I think of Nelly. Exactly. Yeah. Tupac. 
Thank you, Biggie, That's rap. Nelly, Tupac. Tupac. Tupac's not classic hip hop. He's gangster rap. Uh, I don't even. I wouldn't even go there though. Classic hip hop has some soul feel to NWA. it. Like that's why I said Biggie. No, no, no. That's mm-hmm. that's gangster shit. But uh, no, I would say I would <laughs> I even know. say I at this point, California. Yeah. Ca- or was it California? California love? Dreaming. California yeah. love. That's a, yeah, that's what it is. That is classic hip hop. That's not gangster shit. Yeah, that's true. That's not gangster shit at all. And I, I think of like Snoop, Gin and Juice. That's, that's gangster cla- shit. Gin and Juice. That's gangster. Gin- mm, Come I wouldn't on. call that gangster. That's Smoke classic. weed every day. <laughs> oh, this does That's, list this lists um all of the people that he dissed rolling in the down thing. the street. Who? So a lot of these names are Eminem. Eminem. I don't I, okay. I don't know Maybe a lot right. of these names. Maybe you're right. I'll Lay give you that. Back with my mind and Lil Yachty, he did diss. Lil Yachty didn't get dissed. Yes, it did. What is, what's no, the lyric? No, what's the lyric? What he said to, what he said about Lil Yachty was I'm not dissing Lil Yachty, he's just not my style. But, uh, like that's basically but Lil all he Yachty said. Doesn't do like he has these major producers that are doing things, and he just like raps over it with his. What does he even do? Hair. He raps, mumble raps. What does he even? What has he even rapped though? Le- uh, oh, the fucking he's a broccoli. Rapper. Broccoli song, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It says that's and, what Emma said. Was, <laughs> I I can see why people like Lil Yachty, but not me though. Not even dissing, just like it, not my it style. ain't for me. I gotta pull and then shit. Yachty's response That's was LMAO. Me personally, I think it's fire that Eminem took a shot at me. I fuck with Eminem. And I fuck with you, Eminem. Did you see? Did yeah. you see Hobson's response to Eminem? No. So Eminem in his song, in, in one of his songs, he like he uh, he gave, he dissed a bunch of rappers, but he gave props to a bunch of current ones: uh, Sean, J. Cole, uh, Kendrick, and Hobson. And he, he basically said Hobson is is bringing back culture, something something to along those lines about about Hobson. Why Hobson posted a video of him reacting to this. Because he had no idea. He in his video, he is ecstatic as fuck. He's like, dude, I didn't even think Eminem knew my name. Oh, that's awesome. And he, dude, it's like a little kid in candy shop, it's man. Funny. He's it's so funny. It's funny how that works. This is this is Lil Yachty. Yeah, I, don't, I, like I don't like it. I, I, I kind of like, I like this song. But you listen, like the the, pr- the production on it is Dram. And uh, he he's funky as hell. He's kind of like on the same line as Thundercat. You guys know who Thundercat is? No. Play a Thundercat song. So this, I, yeah. I just don't like. I don't like any. Really, I'm gonna say it this way, and it's gonna be a broad uh, painted with a broad brush here. But I don't like any rap music where I can't understand what they're saying. I feel you. This is this is. Let me fast forward a little bit. This is Thundercat. It's a big reason why I avoid rap now, especially modern rap. Oh, I recognize this. Like Dram just reminds me the way he plays and the way he produces reminds me of Thundercat, and it, he's funky. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just I'm laughing at some of the stuff that people have responded to Eminem's song with. Like I don't know who Vince Staples is, but it says Long Beach Long Beach rapper known for angering Christian parents. Um, M said if I press the issue just to get the anger out, Full Magazine could take Staples out. And then his response, whoever this Vince Staples guy is, Vince Staples. Yeah. Come on, Cara. Know you know is. who Vince Staples is. But he said rap, it says man. yes. He responded. Um, he said that Eminem should fight it out with another rapper dissed on Kamikaze Machine Gun Kelly. He said, meet in a, lutra, lut, in a neutral location, a Cracker Barrel or Trader Joe's, somewhere they were both comfortable and just squabble <laughs> out. Because they're white. <laughs> <laughs> Hold and, on, let me fast forward. MGK dissed g Easy too. And like, what's up with all these? Why are these white, white rappers just hating on each other? You don't know the song? No. This is one of his most popular songs, North North. He's not good. I don't, I don't like him, this. but this is Vince Staples. I don't recognize this. But no, uh, uh, yeah, I think part of the that's like the weakest little like. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. Part of, part of my reasoning behind my theory though is that Eminem Eminem mentions so many current rappers, and he challenged rappers that are talented. But Ken, you're telling me Ken? You know, if someone tells me that Kendrick isn't talented. Well, he meant he says Kendrick. Oh, I know, good. I know. He mentions know. that Kendrick's good, but the rappers he dissed are all talented. Eh. They are, they are. Eh. They're talented, and what he's what it to me it sounds like he's trying to force modern rappers to get more creative he's because that's what Eminem's listen. always been an Who's amazing Charlamagne lyricist. The God? Let's Charlamagne the God's another rapper, but the thing that pisses me off too is that he's using like the Beastie Boys cover, and he's like. Who's this? <clears throat> oh, this is Eminem. Is that Kamikaze? That's fine. Can we have this playing in the background? I haven't, I haven't heard this song. This is Kamikaze. I haven't heard this one yet. I've heard a, a lot of other songs in the album. I haven't heard this one yet. 
I listen to a lot of it. This is garbage. No, it's not. I really don't think it is. You're telling me you're getting off on this thing. No, but it's not garbage. It's not Green Day. It's what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark. All right. Touche. It's not metal. It's not garbage. Excuse Fuck me. <laughs> the best part, I can reach over here and turn my mic. I just... But no, I, I don't like this. Song. I th- like th- it's garbage. I just Mumble feel Rap. like I feel like he's because Eminem's always been a great lyricist. How many modern day rappers out there outside of like Kendrick, outside of Gambino? Oh, you fucker! How many how many modern rappers are that good of lyricists? And they don't logic? Just talk about pussy. All right, logic and tech, and but oh, tech that's nine. that's the other thing. MGK m- made a comment in a in a uh, a feature on a tech song. That's what started it all. Here, let's ra- let's. Here. That's what started it all. I don't remember what exactly he said on on Tech Nine song, but he mentioned something in his feature on Tech song. Who's this? G- fucking Gambino, a guy oh, known for his his rapping. One of the modern rappers I'm gonna never mentioned at all. He can't. He can't. He cannot do it. Not only is he one of the one of the best rappers out there right now, but he's probably one of the nicest people on the planet. Dedicated to his work, writes TV shows for fuck's sake, wins awards on the TV shows, wins awards on his music, wins awards on his acting, on his acting skills, and he pushes the boundaries. Yeah, yeah. The boundaries of this is America. We've talked about that on the show before. This is America. Oh, yeah. Pissed a lot of people off. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of things, a lot of people thinking. But everybody loved it in some way. So good. It grew on me. I didn't like it at first. It I love I love the, the videos and around. how people dub over it, and he actually does too. He posted about it because he he has shared a couple of the videos that people have dubbed over on This Is America. Like uh, yeah, this I'll is take Nigeria. that opinion with yeah. a grain of salt because you love when people do the the fucking all star thing all yes. the time. Yes, I, I hate it. I love it so much. Uh, the then we got thing. this guy. This is an older when song. when a song starts out playing and you're like, oh yeah, I know this song, and then all of a sudden it's all star. It's, it's fucking. <laughs> I forget who the guy that does it. I think I want to say it's Boogie. This, this is an older song, 2015. Patrick from work, I gave him a shout out because he'll eventually listen to this show one day. But he, uh, him I and I, like new. He has listened before, so we'll see. He helped me move. Shout out to Patrick. He, Thanks, Pat. <laughs> this is the shit that it's getting. This is 20, 22 million views on YouTube. I'm a put cocaine in your way. I'm a put cocaine in right. your way. You know the song? No, but it looked like I did just by sticking my tongue out, didn't it? A little bit. I was like, I just want the Molly. Now I'm trying to I just bought some Molly. Now I'm trying to fuck Miley Cyrus. I just popped a Molly. Oh, this is what you were saying yesterday. Yeah. I'm going to put can, cocaine in your ass. I can I'm going to put my oh. dick in your ass. Yeah, he says, we were listening to Stitches. And I was like, by Shawn Mendes. <laughs> I, can, I can see why this is popular. I'm... I'm not saying it's good. Not it's saying it's terrible. bad, but I can see it's why it's so popular. Bad. Awful. It's I can so see bad. why it's popular. I can't see how it's popular. It's got a beat. It's got a decent beat. Exactly. And he's saying things that people will laugh about. Exactly. <laughs> That's why it's popular. Exactly. And I feel like that is what Eminem did, man. Like first, it started off a couple years ago, smacking around Trump, dissing Trump, hating on Trump. See, That's that fine. was him trying to be serious. And that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. We get that. But when a, I just feel like when a actor or a musician who hasn't done anything relevant in the past five years comes out and starts being political kid rock is a good example exactly i'm just like get the fuck off stage and i i like kid rock but they opinions. have their I they like have Ted the, nugent's this opinion is, this is the thing and this is i'm going to relate this to another topic that i believe we should be talking talking about but this is a, a a situation where a celebrity is taking their large platform and making their stance on it. Yeah. Very similar to Colin Kaepernick. See, now explain this to me, Mark, because I don't care, first of all, <laughs> but I also don't understand. Kaepernick was the first guy to kneel. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So what's the big deal with Nike? <laughs> so Nike made him the face of their new advertising campaign. Okay, and, and that's sparking fire and because... It's sparking problems because, one, he's black. He's I, black? I feel yes. He's See, half black. All the, I feel all like the that's I've that's seen, a, look I feel like that's a problem. Why to is that a, lot a problem though? Because Nike sponsors a lot of black no, 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 athletes. No, no. I all feel the like time. that's a problem to a lot of people, not me. But no, I, I'm I feel not like saying to you. But I'm just saying. I feel like, like that's Nike one. That's one reason. Uh, the other reason is because their ad campaign involving him uh, talked about sacrificing everything. Well, a lot of people believe what has a you know multi million dollar football player sacrificed. 
I he agree. sacrificed his entire job. Yeah, I agree with kneeling. that, but I but I also I understand that point of view by kneeling, creating a controversy. He sacrificed his entire career. He was blackballed by the NFL. But sp- splitting the NFL down the middle, not only that, because you had guys on the side that were like, well, you had, you had, like the NFL. You had, is, he don't still, is he still in the NFL? No, no, no. completely blackballed, he's, blackballed he's by the NFL. He could not, he could not get a job. Uh, oh, okay. Nobody would hire him. Nobody would. Nobody would sign. So the whole burning, boycotting Nike thing is 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 just because he is the he's so the face stupid. of the ad campaign. Did you hear about Nike though? <coughs> what? It's like a thirty one percent jump in their stocks. Oh yeah, I know. Because like, anybody anybody who supports his fo- his cause is going to buy for him. Well, good. Why the no, I'm not going to stop buying Nike. Nike's because genius. Of that. What the heck? I Nike's don't smart. Care. I mean, I don't buy a bunch of there Nike was, shit anyway. But I'm not. If I want a new pair of shoes, I have a Nike gift card. I'm not going to not buy Nike because of that. There was a uh, uh, a, a pro Trump website. I don't remember what the what the site was called, but they were sharing Trump around this story it. that Michael Jordan was pulling out of Nike and resigning from his position in Nike and taking Air Jordans with him over this controversy, oh. which I have since checked out on Snopes and other sites. That's and fake. It's got completely be. false. I feel like but, Michael Jordan of all people would stand with that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Michael Jordan said, "I may, I, you know, I don't necessarily have to agree with what he says, but he has his position. Like he's saying what he wants to say, and Nike can pay anybody they want to pay." It, uh, and that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. It's their fucking company. Yeah. Right, right. It's their money. Well, and it's just stupid that people are burning the clothes or they're cutting out the Nike symbol. Here's, like, come, it's such a waste of money. <laughs> the Nike symbol's like you, right over the nipple. You, yeah, bought, you like, bought that. Those right. clothes are already. You already bought this shit. You're destroying, so, you're destroying your own money. What... What is like the relation with all those pictures and stuff that are getting posted everywhere? They're a meme now. It's a meme. It's That's a why meme, yeah. what was you've that seen me you share them. Oh, let me let me pull it. I up. shared okay, one that because I totally didn't know anything about this, and I read like the ones it's that a I read. Meme now. No, the ones that I read made me think of that Shia LaBeouf video where he's it's just, just like that. Yeah. It's That's just what just the like lines that. were. It would look like it looked like it was right okay. out of what he was have you, screaming. Have you guys ever wanted to like gamble on what the next meme would be? Because I could never fucking imagine what the next meme mm. that's popular I love this so, so the one that oh, I shared box with his tiny little hand the one that I shared is <laughs> uh, it's Kevin Malone and it says why waste time say lot word when few word do trick and then it has the Nike symbol and it just says do it doesn't even say do it it just says do I saw one that was it was uh I saw one with the, it was Nick Offerman from uh, Parks and Rec. Yeah. And he was like, why can't everyone just mind their own business do do it or don't I don't give a fuck <laughs> I just, I don't know. I never, I didn't hear anything about it until I think Tosh brought it up to yeah, me. Yeah, I was sitting there because I, I, I personally didn't really understand much of it. And then I read an article and I read that um, Colin? Kaepernick, mm-hmm. yeah. Colin. Kaepernick. Yeah. He actually talked to, because he sat during the national anthem at first and then he talked to an ex-veteran and the veteran said, don't sit down because that's disrespectful. But if you kneel, then that. Yeah. Isn't it's not being disrespectful to the veterans. N- notice that the first game he sat down during the anthem was was a preseason game. Nobody was watching. Nobody gave a shit. But a lot of people did blow yeah. up about it. And the, the veteran, the, the veteran that contacted him. Yeah. Well, yes, but the anthem isn't broadcasted during preseason games, as far as I remember. I don't watch football. It, it, but, is. it but is. It is. Uh, it's not. I don't know if it's the, the veteran that contacted him was actually another football player yeah. in the NFL. And he's like, hey, you know, like I, I. I understand what you're what mm-hmm. you're trying to do, but maybe you need to go about it in a different way. Yeah, and that's when they had that conversation, and they just look. well, yeah, because he wanted him to do it in a way that it wasn't disre- disrespectful to veterans. Because he was like, "I'm not. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I'm trying to stand up." And that's up the thing; it wasn't disrespectful to on. anyone in the first place. Really, it's not. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I can't. But I mean, say, it all depends on your perception. I can't it's, say that my first differently when some it's a right or a left. Right. I can't right. say that my first my first thought about it wasn't irritated. Because it was, it, I was yeah. irritated. I but, when I yeah when I first saw it, I was like, "Wow, this is disrespectful." But then when I when I read right that he actually had talked to an ex veteran, I kind of understood it more. Well, I wasn't I was like, pissed okay, off about not... the kneeling so much. I was pissed off about him sitting during it. That I was pissed yeah. off about. And then once I read about yeah, once I read about him talking to I forget who the veteran he talked to was, but he talked to another player who, who was you know a former U.S. military member, blah blah blah, and told him, "Look, we kneel when a soldier's wounded." We kneel, you know, when yeah. a player is injured. Yeah. Like we yeah. kneel to honor something just and to sense. hope for that that to get fixed. Mm-hmm. As much as I disagree with the whole kneeling, sitting bullshit, I I understand. I understand. Right. There's a point yeah. behind it. Yeah, and, and I get it. And well, and it's hard. I I really like. I would like to have Devonte on 
to talk. I know it would be a super political podcast. Oh, but to be talk, just to have a have an opinion from from, from a black person, yeah. you know, because it's we're all not. I'm not going to say privileged white we're, people, we but are. we're all no. Because Cara is a Mexican. Cara's colored. <laughs> <laughs> Her, her but, coworker said she has a she has a pass because she's technically. Oh colored. yeah, my coworker was like, <laughs> she goes, Kara, you can say the n word. I'm like, I'm not gonna say the n word. I don't, I don't care for you're the n word. What? She's like, she said, because I'm Mexican, and I'm like, I disagree with you, but, but thank you for telling me that. You're not, you can't you're say that, yeah, right? <laughs> you can't right. say right. that. Right. You're she's Mexican, not black. She my name's Natasha, so can I say the n word? <laughs> is it? That's that's a Russian excuse, name. <laughs> excuse the whole slur here, but isn't spick? Isn't that the Mexican? Yes. Yeah. And, but they don't wow. use it in the same they don't way. Say it, right, right. They don't use it in the so same why, way because it's, it's derogatory. Not, Mexican just yeah, say the it's not word. really like, used. Okay. Like people don't say that in like she rap said, songs. She said it's different. Stuff. It's taken differently. Well, she I said it's say because, cracker it's because, because she's I'm white. white. And because I like crackers. Shut up, cracker. <laughs> but you know Let's what I mean? Let's go eat Cracker Barrel where you're comfortable. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, I want to go to Cracker Barrel. Listen, Cracker Barrel has TGI good TGI Fridays. I just told her great, thank you great for letting me know, but I'm not going to use it. I don't care for the word. Is Colin Kaepernick a douche? No. Well, Yes. A um, good douche or a bad douche? I, I, I say he is, and I'll tell you why. Because when all of this stuff started, all this kneeling stuff, and he was saying he was protesting because of because African Americans in America are oppressed. I can understand that. Literally a week later, he was wearing a shirt with Che Guevara on. And, Guevara on and, and, and how many and million dollar contract did he sign? Uh, one. Uh, one, one million dollar well, contract. Well, one for his rookie deal, and another one when he got got. His extension and yeah, he, sh- he was subsequently sh- cut. It's a shame that he signed a million dollar contract because you know all four of us in our lifetime will not make a million dollars. Yeah. So, but he worked hard and honed his craft to get there. No doubt about that. I'm sorry, if, if you're a freak athlete and you're gonna you're gonna go to that extreme to become a professional athlete, more power to you. You deserve that money. I just feel like some douche uh, celebrities don't deserve to live. Mm-hmm. Wow. And, and wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't I say you're, I I can't just, say I you're like wrong, that, I but don't, I don't. I hate that you say that. I feel like it's such bad karma. I, I can't say that. I don't think that anyone deserves not to live. Uh, yeah. Yes and no. Like there, there's some people that have done some I think that nature that needs to be really... able to take its course a little more efficiently. No, there, I'm there you go. <laughs> well, nature took its course for sure with uh, the recent deceased of Mac Miller. Yeah. That's what happens when and you decide you, to do And mind you, I like one drugs. song, which is this one. This is... Uh, Dang by Mac Miller, uh, uh, featuring Anderson Pac, which is one of I my that is. favorite. I, I'd like to I'd like to state this it now Anderson that Pac. people need to not blame Ariana Grande for Mac Miller. I think what was up with that? Bad for her. Uh, what was oh up with that? Uh, so they, I mean, they broke granted, up I did ask, ago. I did ask Mark. I was like, do you think that this like it was like a suicidal thing because he knew that. Like Ariana Grande was so gorgeous, he's probably never gonna be with somebody else. Oh, never. He, as he looks like a piece of ass. He looks like and ass. Then to be broken Such up with, and then for her to be engaged like immediately to the next person that she dated. She's they, engaged now. Yeah, yeah. yeah she was engaged. Yeah, her and Peter are like have they been engaged since like the first few weeks that they were together. Is, they've been engaged for a long time. Yeah. I'll so sure. I, 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 I did not. I will and she never has say, bad taste in men because he ain't good looking either. I know what the heck. She's so pretty and like she's dating all these ugly guys. I won't say that I saw Mac Miller because I didn't sta- stand there and like watch his show. Um, but at Lollapalooza a couple years ago, he was playing. Yeah, I wouldn't watch his show. He oh god, he is ugly. Yeah, he's, he's an actor, fucking ass he? ugly. He yeah, he's yeah. a comedian. Um, anyways, he was just such a douchebag on stage. I was kind of like, why are you popular? Why are you famous? Because you're such a douchebag. And, um, Tell him what he said. Yeah, he, he first of all, he, he said something about grabbing pussy. I think he was referencing like a Trump thing or Probably. whatever. Um, and, and he was like, just go grab all that pussy. And I was like, mm, okay, no, thanks. And then people, I, I don't know the situation, but this was later on, and I don't know if this was at Lollapalooza or if it was at another show, but he was encouraging people to fight at his show. Like, oh, just fight. Just, like, punch, punch that motherfucker in the face. Like, I'm like Fred Durst? Nice job. Yeah, exactly like Fred Durst. I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't like hey, Fred Durst was popular. <laughs> I was later reading, uh, I think it was yesterday, we were reading yeah. through some interview stuff that, because Reddit, of course, exploded. Oh, yeah. And they were quoting um, Mac Miller, and, and I'm just going to, what is it called? Um, paraphrase. Paraphrase here, yeah. yeah. He he said something in a in a 2012 interview that he would rather be the uh, silly goofy Jewish rapper as as he was instead of being the cracked out 
guy that everyone else is because once you become addicted to something it's hard to break through and then, and then guess what he ODs and O's and ODs I don't know this guy is what? just such a douchebag to me I just cannot get over the fact that he was so strong against I'm not gonna be addicted to anything I'm not gonna from what I was reading well, then, he's been addicted to drugs for a very long course, time so even had. when he was well, saying that he was probably he on drugs are you kidding well, me well he said I don't want to be a part of the forever 27 club mm. And then yeah, he one. didn't even make it to 27. But the thing is, yeah, the thing is, is you I'm terrible don't. for laughing at that. No, you're not. I would because come on. No one says that. Dickhead. No one says that unless they think they're going to die soon. Right. You know, or like they're doing something that is going to, you know. Um, um, oh, I avoided the 27 club death guys. or whatever. I don't know and what not, I guess in another song, to mind you, I don't listen to him other than the song I just played. But um, I guess in another song he was saying like, oh, all these pills I'd be popping. People are trying yeah, to get me he's a rapper, help or what. Yeah, but. I'm telling you, oh, you splashed it on my phone a little and on the table. Um, I just don't think it is necessary to make music that's saying, not. oh, I'm popping pills. Like, help me out here, people. I need help. <laughs> Come on. Get over yourself. And that's the, not this, to round it all the way back. Is, and, this is coming from someone who's a 21 Pilots fan. Name one thing. They talk about they're, schizophrenia. They're, they're not so. addicted to anything as far as I know. No, But they not. sing about... Self help, basically. Mental help, saying that what you need the, to get it. What is your comparison I'm just, there? I'm just saying you need he, to get mental help. That is what yeah. Tyler's yeah. saying yeah. because I don't Tyler's been depressed. What you, Tyler's tried to kill himself. How he's trying to correlate. That, you're getting Vox fired up. Oh yeah. man. Well, I, I was gonna round it back and get you fired up because this is the same fucking thing that Demi Lovato did with that well, sober that, song. But Very that's similar. the thing. Yeah. No, because so many people are like, "Oh my God, poor Mac Miller. I'm so sad that he's gone." But then they're posting memes about Demi Lovato overdosing. I've shared memes. Funny. Listen, but not about Demi though. I will I say Demi. one thing about Demi, I and I will just say <laughs> this straight out: at least she is acknowledging the fact that, that she, she has, has a problem. fucking issue, yeah. and she's trying to get she's it taken help. care of. She she is, but she isn't. But she you're right. She, she said isn't. she doesn't want to get sober. So like, no, she's getting help. She's at yes, but she also now said she, she doesn't want to get sober. Like. Yeah. Yeah. If you're an addict and you're getting help, but you don't want to be you don't want to be sober, no, then you're not wants really. No, addict to be sober. Twenty one pilots, I though. I disagree. If we're gonna round back they're, here, they're addicted. They're they're they they always will want when they acknowledge drugs, they, they have will a problem. They don't want, want that problem anymore. But that's the thing, though. Like when you're an addict, you always want that thing that you're addicted to. Mm -hmm. But you do what you can to stay away from it. So she doesn't want to be sober, but she knows she has to for her health and to stay alive. What are we doing? I just, I, tw the 21 pilots thing bugged me just a little. <laughs> yeah, I really don't understand how Mark was uh, like, let's talk about he 21 was, pilots. He was going off, he was going off, he was going off about how Mac Miller was talking about his problems and saying that he needs no, help. No, he was and talking Tyler about, does the same he was fucking talking thing. about no, artists no, no. that talk about popping pills, doing lines of coke, no. and doing that kind of Correct. stuff in their music I was to gain that. popularity. Yes, but I was, I was just relating it to the, the, the type of words he's, that he says. He, he's he just just asking, he's literally... His his Here. music was a call for help, and yeah. that's what Tyler's is too. That's, that's but it's different. This is different. Just a second. You're right. It is different. It is it is different. But it's it's still kind of a similar idea. This line's right here, which is giving me goosebumps. Right if you need anyone, I will be right there. And you're gonna have to grab me th by the throat and lift me in the air to stop him from helping you. Because yeah. Mark, if you so needed stuff, anyone, man, all three of us would be there for you. Yeah, Kara. If you needed anyone, we would be there for you. He's gonna get. He's gonna cry. Yeah. Okay. Same he's with Natasha. Tyler. Kay. We would be there. Yeah. Okay. The thing with him, he's he's preaching the fact that you need to get a friend. I had a friend kill himself this year. Mm -hmm. That fucked me up. That still fucks me up. Okay. Mm -hmm. The difference between Mac Miller saying, "Hey, I'm popping pills. I'm I'm doing this. I'm doing that." I cannot get over the fact that someone is saying that in their music and not taking advantage of the fact that there are so many people out there that are fans of his. Willing We're to help. fans of his willing to listen. Demi Lovato did the same thing. One of my best friends killed himself this year. And I had no fucking clue. I had no fucking clue yeah. that he was in that position where he was hurting so bad he couldn't reach out and say, Vox, I need help, man. Right. Say, my friends, I need help. So 21 Pilots, to smack you right in the face with that, Mark. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're saying, if you need anyone, we will be there for you. We will be here. You listen to our music. We will help you. We will get you through that. 21 Pilots is permanently marked on my body. And I know I've said this 
previously on the podcast, I do have two tattoos. I'm out of my dad's house now, so he can't kick my ass. <laughs> I, have, I have two tattoos. One out over my heart in Morse code that Tyler tweeted when Heathens came out says, take it slow, reminding myself any situation I go into, I have to take it easy, take a breath, take it slow. The next one is on my, on my ribs, polarized. The lines in polarizes, I want to be a better brother because me and my brother don't get along that well. And I want to be better though. And I want to be a better son. And it's just, it's just how I live my portion of my life. I understand that. And but the the whole point is why are so many people, Demi Lovato, Mac Miller, whoever else has done this, saying we have a problem, admitting it through music, admitting this, it through their their social media, through their following, and why aren't they taking care of that? This is right. you're like relating this directly through. to you're relating this directly to something that hit me hard in the music industry when Chester Pennington killed himself. Exactly. And, and go he, here, Mark. Through Tell me about his this. through that his last music album that he just made before that was happened. meant to be uplifting and meant to say like, look, if if you need it, we're here and and we're trying to help you. I, but he didn't get the help for himself yeah. enough. Well, that's I, the thing, though. It's with Fox's friend. Oh, our friend, yes. you know, our friend. It's, it's hard. He, you, he was someone you would never expect. You know, it's always the people, the always the people that are uplifting, and always it's, the people yeah, that exactly. are, like, you know, always there for you, or always like, you know, super happy to be around you, or you know, just super upbeat, and you just don't think people tend exactly. to take care of everybody else yeah. instead of. Yeah. And that yeah. was yeah. my buddy. Second, Check on your friends. That always. was my fucking yeah. buddy. He was the person that was like, "Hey, Mark, nice to meet you, man. Like, what do you like to drink? What do you listen to? Let's play some games. Let's joke around." He was always fucking around, like doing all this fun shit yeah. all the time. The last experience I had with him was in Traverse City, really, was the last like time that we had a great weekend with each other. He came up yeah. for Easter weekend with us. Well, and even yeah. just like the first time I met him, like I had just felt like I knew I've known him forever, you know, like we left there and I was like, he's a great guy, you know, like yeah. I had a really good time and it was just like, I didn't feel like, I never felt like an outsider. I, I have a friend like that, Cara, Cara knows him. Uh, I actually just saw him relatively recently, very much like that, very fun loving, very jovial very happy full of charisma and i'm sure and sometimes i like worry that. about him i'm sure chester was just like that yeah because on no mind you i'm not that big of a lincoln park fan i'll give him hybrid theory because that's a great album amazing but after that I was his like, last okay. album was amazing okay. as well okay <laughs> not not my style of music but okay <laughs> i'm amazed i'm amazed that you didn't like his last album did you listen to that yeah last yeah album? of course i'm amazed that you didn't like uh, what, what's it called heavy it's the heavy, but no, and then uh, one, one more light, light was one more light, one more light. Like, yeah I'm, I'm surprised you didn't like that album it's it's the I, message I is go, very similar to 21 pilots i really should go back and re-listen to it's it a because great at this album. point well it's in that at that point in my music it I was seemed just like, like metal is all i want to listen to yeah. and if it's not angry i don't want to hear it which is kind of where i'm at right now with my music because i'm waiting for 21 pilots to drop their full album yeah mm -hmm. but I, I i should go back and listen to that because i can't say that it's an amazing album. My music taste doesn't change because it does. It does change all the time. Shadow of the Day. I remember when that song came out. That was a hard song. And man, yeah, oh yeah, because just the lyrics through it, like pumping through. And, and Chester's got a great voice. I'll oh, give yeah. him that too. He he's got a great great voice. I just don't. It's just not an album that was like oh, I'm gonna listen to this. You want to you want to know another song that hit me hard? It came Crawling out in my skin. No, it came, out, it came out not too long after Shadow of the Day, actually. Uh, and it, it was uh, Rise Against, Rise Against when they did Hero of War. I didn't like that you, one. That song is I like Rise Against too. Upsetting. That song is, but that's the one about all depressing. the veterans. Yes. Yeah. That song hit me hard because my brother had just come back from Afga uh, Iraq and Afghanistan, yeah. and, and, and legitimate, sure. legitimately, like when he came back, we got in a fist fight. So like, yeah, it's weird how that yeah. happens. Yeah. So that the fight that was on your mom's birthday. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. That, so that song. Birthday. That song came out not long after that, and like that hit me really hard because I realized like my brother's just got this anger he's got in him. They he doesn't know how what to deal how to deal with it. You yeah. know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Get a punching yeah. bag, not your brother. Well, and then <laughs> there's I don't know. I, there's a lot of songs that make me emotional, but there's that heaven song, and then they they like um, put um, I don't even know what it's called when you put voices over like the song. Uh, chorus uh, dubs no it's like people actually talking oh uh, oh okay. and it's like the 9 11 version it's, it's like these people talking about 9 11 or like their mm. parents that have died or yeah. you know family that have died and that that song like i can't listen to it even listening to sober makes me emotional because it's just you know like how do we get on such what, a feels topic uh, right uh, 21 <laughs> but, pilots but my thing is oh yeah you set me <laughs> off on that <laughs> yeah go what hard. you got a little of us, like all of us rage what if demi bit. were like mac miller I box. I know, buddy. what if demi were like mac miller and she didn't have friends around her and she died like i don't know what i would do i'd 
and have a fit. But I'm gonna just you know, it's just pedal back. So I, that's something just, that's because people are passionate about music. Yeah, but, and you're passionate about Demi. I'm not, so I just don't care as much. I'm not passionate about Mac Miller, but but you're there, passionate about Tyler. And, is there and like, a hardcore if, Mac Miller out th- fan out there that's I guarantee just completely you there is. There's upset a lot about of this? them. A lot of my friends and my friend li- friends list have been oh, posting man. about mm-hmm. it. Uh, really upset about it. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, and that's funny that, that, that you she say was that. like, I never thought I would cry about someone I didn't know, but his music got me through a lot of like tough times, happy times. Like yeah. I would always and listen to him. That's exactly just, why Linkin Park, like why, why Chester upset me so much. Mm-hmm. I'm a huge Soundgarden fan. Chris Cornell, man. What the fuck yeah. are you doing? But yeah. the, the difference there is Soundgarden didn't really like, I mean, their music wasn't coming out as you were coming up. I bet I grew but, up like, on that. Linkin Park was for me. Yeah, for you. Absolutely. And, and that was that was heavy for me. It was rough. Oh. Was like we've, we've talked. Minutes about to Midnight before. came out when I was a senior. You came out when I was a uh, freshman. In high school? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. No, you would have been in eighth grade probably. Two thousand eight. Yeah, yeah. it would have been like eighth grade. No, you, yeah, you would have been eighth like grade. eighth grade. Yeah. I remember that too. But I love Soundgarden so much. I love him so much. So yeah, Soundgarden is a good band. I'd never really liked Chris Cornell as a singer, but he has a great voice. I just wasn't. I didn't. If love Johnny his Cash voice. covers one of your songs, man, you made it. You're right, and he did this. This is Rusty Cage. Yeah, he he covered the shit out of this. Well, song. does that mean Trent, Trent Reznor made it? Fuck yeah, Trent Reznor <laughs> made it. Are you kidding me? You know, Hurry. I really, yeah, I really it. don't like Nine Inch Nails version of Hurt anymore. I don't, either. I don't like Nine Inch Nails. Period. I, I, really, I don't mind Nine like, Inch Nails. I've heard the song I've, and I've I know the words to it now because of Johnny Cash, but it just does not have that same effect. No, because Johnny that Cash is one of those songs it. that like Ugh. is talking about your drug addiction in a way that's like I know how badly I've damaged my life. Because of and, my addiction and, that's the and thing, how like, alone I am. That's the, that's the really rough thing about Hurt is he's uh, admitting that, like, I haven't just fucked myself up. I've fucked all of you up Ugh. by doing what I do. And and What a shame. It, that That's really a, 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 a message of reflection on anybody. Like, yeah. for yes. you to admit that everything you've done has hurt the people around you, that's rough. Like, just using that song made me want to go see Logan so much more because they used it right. in the trailer for it. I Made know. me want to go see it so much but, more. Because and it related like, to Wolverine so well. Right. It's That that pieced together really, really that was well. was a, a great movie. I, I'm i not the biggest fan of Johnny Cash. I like a few of his songs, handful. But um, did you guys watch Walk the Line? Yes. I've never yeah. seen it. Not we'll a big, not a big, not a big fan it. of Joaquin Phoenix in that, but it, he did a decent job. Playing Johnny Cash, you can't, I mean, right. you have to it's, have a certain person. There was, him. I don't think there was any actor out there they could have picked that would have done any better. It's like uh, who, um, Jamie Foxx playing Ray. I agree. Oh, that that was great. Though. There was no other actor, you, and I don't. I hate Jamie Foxx. I, I love really? Jamie Foxx. Yeah, when you go on stage and say that all the white men need to die because of what they've done in the past. That makes me hate you. I've never seen. No, that. I didn't never know heard that. that. Yeah. But anyway, I, I like Johnny. Er, I like Jamie Foxx's music. Like Jamie I like Fox. his acting. Don't like him. However, that movie was. Amazing. Oh yeah. And same with Walk the Line, but I'm just wow. Walk the Line was a was a was a a bit of a rough take. Uh I don't the movie wasn't amazing. I wouldn't call it amazing, but it, it had a great story to it. Yeah. It told a um, lot of the story. That's a I mean, you walk the line Wakeem Phoenix's acting in Walk the Line is what caused Dewey Cox to walk hard to yeah. be a thing. Yeah. Because they were legitimately just making fun of Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix's terrible acting in that movie. <laughs> And it, it's not that his acting was really that terrible. It was just he he overdid it in a lot of ways in some parts of that Who was that directing movie. that film? I don't remember. I don't even know either. But I feel like whoever was directing that film should have been like, you might want to dial it back. Tone, about tone it down just a little. There were some scenes where he was amazing at. But other like a lot of it was like, dude. James Mangold? That rings a bell. How um, How crazy is it, though, that he's just like, hey, I'm playing Johnny Cash. Right. Like, uh, oh, you're in a new movie? What's it about? Johnny Cash. Who do you play? Johnny Cash. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <It's> awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Um, where, did can, they f- where did they find Mac Miller dead? Do you know? Anyone I know? I don't know. I feel like it was in his, 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 his condo or, his or something. House? Does he live in an apartment? Or I have condo? no idea. Um, it, would, it would definitely be unfortunate to lo- find a dead body in an apartment, though. I bet. Yeah, we... Smelled that for a few <laughs> yeah. weeks. What? Way to jump in and spoil <laughs> it all, Natasha. <laughs> Tell us the story. So I'm going to start off with my apartment right before we moved out, which was 
probably the last two weeks or so. My apartment yeah. had smelled really bad, and I was just like, what the hell is this smell? Marcus and <laughs> Took Cara. Took out the trash over and over yeah. again. Oh, yeah. Marcus and Cara <laughs> came over to podcast, and I'm like, I'm so sorry it smells. I sprayed a bunch of Febreze. I lit a candle. You know, hopefully that like dies down the smell a little bit. I don't know if it's my air conditioner because I've been running it a lot. And because you know, it was only 100 degrees three yeah, days. Yeah, so I had three, to yeah. run it all day, every day. And I thought that it was my apartment. I thought it was my air conditioner. And then Vox and I are sitting out on the porch sm- and he's smoking a cigar. And he's like, something smells rotten. And I was like, I don't know, maybe like a dead bird flew into my um, air conditioner. I don't know what it is. And then I was like, I don't really smell it. And then a like, dead bird flew I was going to say that was pretty impressive. That the no. dead bird was flying. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a bird <laughs> fell in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it died in midair. It just landed perfectly. <laughs> was this fucking Mario? <laughs> Skeletor. <laughs> 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 just like okay anyway a bird flew in whatever and i thought it died and then <laughs> box like it smells rotten and i didn't really smell it and then like the wind blew by us and i was like oh i do smell that now do you know what uh when you drive by like a dead raccoon on the side of the oh, road yeah, and it you get that, reeks you get that reek oh, smell yeah. that's what it smells and like. you smell it in your tr- in your vehicle sometimes yeah oh, that's yeah. what it smelled like yeah and it was just disgusting like i was just like what the hell i come but i come home from work and i was like it smells so bad and i'd I'd take the Febreze and I'd spray it into the fan and then I'd light a candle oh, yeah. and I'd just oh, yeah. spray it so much. The whole nine yards trying then, to make that place smell decent. Yeah, and it was then terrible. my air conditioner had been off for the last couple of days because it was cooling down. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it doesn't smell anymore. Lo and behold, we <laughs> are when we moved all my shit out of my apartment, we're talking to the maintenance guy, Kurt. Who lives and two floors down. He lives, yeah, right below me. Or two floors below me. Yeah. He's... We had seen so all day yesterday. We had seen people, people in and out of the building. Now, it's the same building as me, but the door next to me. Yeah, the next hallway over. Yeah, next yeah. hallway over. People in and out, in and out, throwing stuff away. And we're like, and Vox is like, I don't know what happened to this guy, but I think he died because someone else was driving his car. And I was like, okay, I don't know. Like maybe he moved out. I don't know what happened. Maybe he sold his car. Yeah. And then as we're talking to Kurt, he's like, oh yeah, he's like, he died. In his apartment, and I went in there because no one had heard from him for a few days. So I went up there. I opened the door, and I was like, "Nope, I'm he calling." He didn't even open the door. He did. He said he opened the door. No, he got up to the door. And I thought he said he opened it the door through the door. Uh, yeah, he goes, "Nope, I'm calling the cops." And he called the cops, and the cops said that he had been dead for the last at, a- least, at least seven, seven to, to ten, 10 days. days. <laughs> yeah, mind and you, three days last week, hundred degrees. No he AC was, running, no windows open. He was the apartment right next to me. And here's what makes me think: like Her he, didn't, he wall, didn't have a window open. His wall. It wasn't even. It wasn't even like he was across the hallway from me. It was wall to wall. The, wall the two to walls wall. touched. Because I was wondering, I was wondering if maybe he had a window. Because like you guys smell it when you were outside. I was wondering if maybe he had like a window cracked. No, nope. and the smell was coming outside and coming nope. in through your AC. When the, when the when the wind blew in the right direction. You could smell. You it. could smell it, and it was oh. coming through the fucking oh. windows, oh. and they weren't open. Oh, so oh man, they said they said at least seven to ten days, oh. and I don't know. So you were smelling smelling rotten. Yeah, yeah I I kept thinking people. it was my garbage. I kept thinking, you know, <laughs> my air conditioner. I was like, it's got to be something. Oh. And I don't know. A part of me was just like. I want to cry. Like that's so. Sad. It is, yeah. it is really, really sad. sad. I remember when you messaged me. You're like, like so. Your, so this like, guy what died. What do your friends and family like think? You know, yeah. like is like do, are there people around in this guy's life? Because exactly, if there you were, guys weren't clearly. answering me for like four days, or like it, that probably would be the max. Like for you two, so if it was like four yeah. days, and you just weren't answering me at all. I'd like come over. You but know that's that my thing. Cat. I mean, I don't. With my dad, like, I don't talk to him that often. Same with my mom. So if something were to happen to him, I don't think I would really know. I mean, obviously, he doesn't live on his own. He lives with, like, Tori and Adriana. Right. So they would know, and I would find out through them. But if he lived on his... If all of a sudden he just moved out and lived on his own, I probably wouldn't know. Right. You like, know? I talk to my mom I, once every, like, two weeks. So. Same. My mom's always like, um, just checking up on you. Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I just yeah, don't... what the fuck is wrong with you people? I, I my don't... My mom calls You me, lived like, with her. Every yeah, but that's your, your mom calls you every day. Amanda I call calls my mom on the way home. From yeah, work, like, Amanda call my sister. Amanda calls me every day. Yeah, and my, she calls my mom, my mom every day. She calls say my hello grandma with three question marks. Yeah, my mom. My, Amanda calls my grandma like at least every other day. My dad. She calls pretty <laughs> frequently. Like she calls everyone every day just Does to she check works? up on them. My, she have like yeah. Something. My dad. My dad posts on Facebook frequently enough for that. I know he's okay. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. alive. Yeah. He's being yeah, a dick today. Yeah, same with my dad. Um, you know that yellow truck. 
that you guys always parked yeah. on? Yeah. That was his. That, that was, was his, his really? truck? That was his truck. Yeah, so yeah. now it's going to be stuck there for another I like So nobody truck, would even think anything of it because it's always in the same spot well, anyways. He, he never moved it. He he didn't drive it. He just he kept... He drove re- a little blue car. Yeah, it he, was, he uh, just kept re-upping the plates on it so it stayed valid. But, oh. But he never drove it. That's got to be rough, though. Like, what? I remember like, when you texted wow. me, you told me a guy died. I'm like... Was it like murder? Or anything cool? Like I was, I was hoping oh, yeah. for something awesome. Yeah. I mean, so a like rotting a body, like you said, this is pretty <laughs> right. metal. But I, I mean, feel like <laughs> the story in general was my apartment was smelling really bad, and lo and behold, there's a dead body, like rotting in the store. corpse, like yeah. three feet away. Oh yeah. my god, <laughs> fucking How metal! Sad. I know. Well, there you go, Vox. There's inspiration for your next album. There you go. Boom, rotting corpse. I'm making a lot of uh, lo-fi hip hop. You shit need to now, make a metal, so. a metal song. Dead bodies. I in have the two apartment. metal songs. Yeah. You never heard the metal no, song? I don't think I have. Can I play you a metal song? Real quick? Yeah, do it. I have bodies in my head, but it's say, instead I'm singing Let about the dead bodies. Corpses hit the floor. No, I'm singing. I'm thinking about dead bodies next door instead of, <laughs> 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 instead of like, let the bodies hit the floor. Dead bodies next door. Dead bodies um, next door. Yeah, I can. Dead I still can't believe that. And then door. someone's gonna move into that apartment. Those poor guys. They're gonna be haunted by a big black guy. Or yeah. Or he's such a sweetheart that he does nice things for them. What if like, you oh, you're looking for your keys? I found them. I I'll was just thinking that. Stop. Oh, my God. Stop. That's creepy. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm convinced that this place is haunted. This place? Yeah, I don't know. Anytime I'm like, maybe it's because I can see my shadow, but when I was washing the paintbrushes, I felt like someone was behind me, but I think oh, it's because I, I, I could see my shadow, so I felt like there was well, someone next to me. Yeah, people. but like shadow people. Yeah, right. shadow people. So this this what? is... You don't shadow know what shadow people, people are? Thing. Shadow no, people are I don't want to talk about it. I'm going right. to die. I'm going to throw please up. Please don't. We're, yeah, You're going to throw up? What? I'm scared. So listen, <laughs> look, I, I've been... Well, I haven't been in this house that long, but I haven't felt a thing. What's yeah. shadow I, people? Oh, shadow God. people, other dimensional beings. You're fine. They yeah, they're like you. the they're like the shadows that usually move like when you turn and look at something like the In your shadow peripherals? that you see. Yeah, yeah. That, your shadow. They, they don't hurt you. You're fine. Like well, if you see guys. something out of your corner of your eye over there, it's not your shadow because your shadow then, is behind. And then you, right you look now. at it and it's gone. That's shadow people. Yeah. Other dimensional, you're fine. I don't they're not going to hurt you. I this is my buddy serious. Eric. I used to play with uh, Rust with him all the yeah. time, but him and I started collabing on a metal album, which is not out yet, mind you. But we are still writing it. But um. Well, he, he just did a little guitar solo. You just have to listen. He's just playing it. And I produced the music. And it's a weird it. sounding guitar. <laughs> you asshole. It gets pretty heavy. I'm liking it already. He's a he's an incredible guitarist. He just like a bunch of solos. And shit. We did two songs. He plays a seven string because he's metal as fuck. That's me. Fucking metal as shit. Yeah. But that's one of the metal songs. I dig it. I dig it a lot. It's like uh like grindcore Are shit. Are you doing any vocals with it? No vocals. I all don't in. care for you it. Need to, you need to get you need to get a female vocalist jam. to help you. I don't have that any. sounds like it needs just a just a decent female vocalist. I feel like you could do like a full like three hour drive just listening to the music from oh, like a metal I absolutely album. Could. No lyrics. I, I can't do that. Uh, I can do I that. Can't I, do that. Never, I, can I could never listen that. to anything with no lyrics. I need something to I sing do to for a while too. or something to listen to. I can't I just love do. singing. Along I can listen to yeah. just like anime metal forever. Really? Oh yeah. This is this is the other one he did. I'll fast forward the solo. He's fucking beautiful. Such a good. He's good. He's so good. good. He's so good. He was the one. This is Eric from Neurological Discord. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. He did. Like just. He's good. I like it. He's just. Yeah. He's a fantastic. Who's the one that you did all those like recordings? Well, the vocal recordings that you guys were just like talking. It was Tony, right? Uh. It's Tony. And you were recording just talking to him, and you like used it in your album. Yeah, that's Tony. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Another another amazing muji- musician. 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 Mu- magician. Mu- Mu- magician. 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 Um, musician that I He's know. He's musically ma- magical. Yeah. Magician. Uh, yeah, he... Oh, fuck. Tony is just... We have another fuck album Tony, that's right? like... <laughs> it's it's in the... Wor- it's spring, because we did Winter, uh, yeah. which was a nice album, like a little EP album, whatever. 
but we so do. So fall's coming. Or, or, uh, spring's coming. Spring's yeah. coming. I mean, we do have Winter spring. Winter is coming. It's been done for a little while. Winter's done. We have to Car. finish watching that. What's that? What? Game of Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so today with all the screamers, I was like jumping every time someone screamed. Good. <laughs> and then Garrett stuck an application in my bag. Good. <laughs> You need to fill that out and work no, for me. No, no, no. Work for me. No, no. <laughs> work for me. No, no, Shut up, no. Box. You don't go hand out cider and donuts with my mom. Oh, there you go. Which is Galdrin? Is she getting paid? Yeah. Yeah. Is she getting paid? Yeah, it's just it's the middle of the hayride. You just hand, you're just taking cider and donuts to the wagons. Well, no, because you said a lot of the people were volunteers now. No. 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 I wish. Ticket takers. Yeah, ticket takers are volunteers yeah. usually. There's I would totally be. I would totally taker. be a witch. I would love to be a witch. Whatever. You can do your yeah. own thing. You ain't driving with me. I'm not driving with you. <laughs> <laughs> All 40 <laughs> minutes up, to place. up there. No, you're not driving. Get your own. Fox is like, I need some alone you're time. We're living together now. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, I, you can't work with me. <laughs> um, so, I need my space. <laughs> Mark, you're a gamer. <laughs> yeah. Have I you am. ever been he's, so... He's very into gaming. So mad that you wanted to cut your own head off with a chainsaw <laughs> no but i want to <laughs> i want to see a video so bad <laughs> what is that like? laughing okay. it's what is, awful it's what fucking is, metal what is, as fuck what is we're up with all this anger and video games like the whole shooting in florida yeah Hold and on. a madden and yeah. then well yeah it's the football and then motherfucker this kid cutting his head off no, in russia i, I think what that i think fuck? that kid that, that shot people in madden finally found the people that called his mother a whore is that what happened? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Let's just make oh. a joke. Oh, fuck you, Mark. I was like, I'm oh, my God. God. There have been so many times. 12-year-old's like, fucking his mom. He yeah. finally found him and shot him. What was that mean? I fucked your mom. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, with that vine when he's in the when he's on the bus? Oh, no. What? I the put f- that fire over there. No, I fucked your mother next to it. No, that's a different one. She's talking. <laughs> are you talking about the little kid who like goes deep voiced? Yeah, when he's on the he's bus. He's like, "What do you?" He's singing uh, like "Wheels on the Bus Go Round and Round." He's like, "What are you five? And the kid goes, "Yeah, five inches deep in your mom." <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's fucking him. great. Um. Anyways, a fifteen-year-old kid gets so <laughs> mad, and I'm betting it's Fortnite, man. That game is Probably. fucking ruining kids. I bet it was Toxic. Fortnite. That game is ruining kids. That game is yes. ruining gaming. From the gaming. people that say that games don't do this kind that of That game is ruining I gaming. I think kids are ruining Fuck Fortnite. Kids. Why is, how is it ruining gaming? It's so bad. Man. Today I heard a girl. I liked it. I liked it more than I liked PUBG. It's Cara, a feel from turn PUBG. your mic off. Take your headphones off <laughs> no, and go wait I in the think, car. We're done I with think, you. I think kids nowadays are ruining kids because today I heard PUBG a girl. You're right. Kids today nowadays I heard suck. a girl say she wants, my di- she wants the dick and she was talking about herself. I was just like. No. Like, okay, yeah, we got to talk after the show is over because there's some kids that we need to watch at this place we're working at. Because I'm, like, listening to their conversations going, what the fuck are you? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean watch? Um. Oh. These kids are fucking nuts. Yeah, I feel I like sh- there's I some just, bad we're, shit we're about to happen crowd, this year. Man. Just, hear, just yeah. hearing, like, the way, just hearing the way that kids talk to each other, like, I've I've grown up around weird people. My sister is weird as fuck. You're weird, and as I love fuck. her. You're weird, but as fuck. you know, like I grew up around like nerdy shit and you know weird people and stuff. Like she's calling us weird guys. Yeah, but we yeah, are. I'm it's weird. Too. I'm weird too. It takes Sorry, it takes D and D. It takes weird people to be haunt people. But yeah. they're not. It's just the way that like, and I know that I'm not much older than like these kids. But I just feel like the way they talk and the way they present themselves is just so like almost different disconnect. generation. Yeah, filthy. Like How it's just, weird though. Ugh, yeah. Like we it. all are. I mean, Tasha's the youngest. I'm the old mentioned. old but, one here. But she's even saying like, "This is weird for me." We're all from the same generation where we were brought up with a fucking iron fist, and we have respect. You did something. For Bam, ourselves. back of the head slap. Yeah, we know? well, we have respect for what we say to each other. We're not like, dude, I was so lit last night. Like, it's that's just not I how say we that talk. every day. Shut up. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. But you know, like, what time we're you go not... to bed, Cara? <laughs> I don't know. It depends. Fucking <laughs> nine o'clock. Eleven. Oh, yeah. eleven. I'm no, like I go to my bed at like nine, and then I'm yeah, sleeping exactly. Like yeah, exactly. Plays fucking, on my phone plays for fucking video games <laughs> on her phone. Until Although 11. I was in the doctor's office, and the doctor kept apologizing for how long I was there for three hours. By the oh way. my! Holy I was there shit. for so long, and he came in only for the last ten minutes. That's the only time I saw him. Like literally, the nurse goes, "If you want, like I can close the door and turn the light out, and you can take a nap for a while until they're ready for you." And then the next and nurse comes in and says, "Let's turn the lights on. Play who's in my mouth." No, no, stop <laughs> it. No, but the doctor came in and he's like, I'm so sorry that you had to stay here for so long. I know it's really boring. I was like, I'm a millennial. I have a cell phone. I'm fine. (laughs) I mean, it's true. (laughs) You know what I mean? Fine. 
Anyways, this kid, uh, fifteen year old Russian kid, was so mad. Of course, he's in Russia. So mad that he lost a game of God knows fucking what that he cut his own head off with a chainsaw. (laughs) Where are you getting this chainsaw? (laughs) I just don't. Where the fuck are you getting a chainsaw from? I'm wondering how he did it. I need to see a video. Who's in a rage for so long that they go outside, (laughs) get the chainsaw, start it up, up, and then then cut their own fucking head off? I want to know how I think this happened. I think he like tied it up to a tree and swung that bitch and jumped into it. Oh, that's way too much. I thought it was more like he he put up like a um. One of those sawhorses. Yeah. And had it running and then locked the the handle. So it's kind of the. How old know, was this kid? 15. He's not that. Oh no. my God, I'm nauseous. Don't talk about it. YouTube does a lot of things. Oh, yeah. No. YouTube. You think he just laid things. down on the fucking table and, and just. Like, <laughs> punch, no, and then just like punched the sawhorse and just. But what if. Doof. But what if. Had he. S- wait a minute. What if he was so mad he went outside and he just wanted to like. Start the chainsaw and let out some aggression and like fell and accidentally cut his <laughs> that head off. That would be fucking hilarious. What I need was, a video. Someone needs to record doing this. Kind of like a te- Texas chainsaw thing where he was like whipping it around like so mad. Like, like I do yeah. at the and haunt. Threw it like up. he was yeah. going to go cut something down or whatever yeah. and it like bounced back and just fucking lobbed his head threw off. Threw it up and just like <laughs> already, uh, you know, what yeah. is artery? They said he artery. completely decapitated himself. That takes some yeah, real I effort. Feel like you had mean, to isn't, there, isn't there like a kid that got so mad that either, either, the, there's something wrong with the game, or the mom took the game away, and he tried shoving the remote control up his that, ass. That was oh, fake. That was I, fake. But yeah, still, there's fake. like that, the same kid actually just did another video uh, a couple, a few weeks ago. I forget what it was, but he sucks. Definitely fake. I gotta piss. Fuck! I lost this level on Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Shove your phone up. You can't take away my wow. <laughs> I've gotten mad at my phone and like bit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're I fucking bit my weird. Phone. <laughs> But no, I, I like, knew, ah. this is why this is what live leaks is for. This kid should have fucking streamed it. Like if you're no. <laughs> Twitch. People <sighs> should not this is, stream. This is what live leaks is for, okay? You know how many videos I've watched of people dying on live leaks? I need this. I, I mean, I don't want to see it, but I want to know how, how it happened. I want I want like, to see I want it. you to watch it and I then want tell the us full how it visceral happened. video of it. Like that's what I want. I, I want to see it. I want to see it happen. I want it it I feel like it would be better than watching the movie Saw. <laughs> like, because it's real. Because it's great. Not that I, lo- I, just, I don't enjoy snuff films, but this, this, I just, there's something metal about someone chug- chopping your own head off with a chainsaw. I just can't ever imagine being that mad, you know, <laughs> especially at a video game. But I, I can never imagine being so mad at Vox that all of a sudden I'm like, I'm going to chop my fucking head off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do feel start. like, I do feel like it wasn't purposeful unless there's evidence that it was. Do you know how to start a chainsaw? I do. No. Well, not you. Well, I can chop your head off. Big grizzly. Do we man. own a chainsaw? No, I don't have a chainsaw. Good. <laughs> that fifteen-year-old kid in Russia did. Yeah, where where did he get a chainsaw from? Probably his dad. That quickly like though. Four or five in the garage. In Soviet Russia chainsaw you. Well, is it just like in the corner of his bedroom? All of a sudden, he's like, "Fuck." No, yeah. but he went out we in the yard. We have three clearly. or four chainsaws in the garage. I could easily just go outside, walk into the garage, and grab a chainsaw. Okay, but are you really so, going to be mad for that long? No, this says something Yoda. about um, incitement to suicide. And talking about groups that they've discovered online that are like encouraging and trying to push kids and teenagers to take their own lives while they're playing video games. What the fuck? fuck? That sounds like something so that, that the that right Christian that might, movement that might have been do. a part of what happened with them. Sounds it sounds like something. A, what is a, a wrong Christian with the internet? Do. I don't understand why all of a sudden trying people to are just get video like, games banned. You know what? This video game makes me want to die. <laughs> Whoa. Yep. That burp made me want to die. All right. It tasted like Take Five. I want another Take Five. They could take five bar, yeah, like a candy bar. They're wonderful. Mm-hmm. Best candy on the market. Well, so one of the has pretzels in it. Yeah. Oh, I haven't had one. It's got one. peanut, peanut butter, pretzels, peanuts, and caramel, mm. caramel. How do you pronounce that word? Uh, caramel. Stop it. Caramel. Um, I caramel. Don't think, I don't think I've had one of those in a long They're time. Wonderful. What? Cara, Cara bought a five. bag of minis, like the the like single serving ones. So every now and then I walk in and eat one. What, what are they? I take, take five. five. Where have you been? I was texting. Yeah. <laughs> the girl who yells at me multiple times on air. We were okay, but we were at lunch yesterday, and he's sitting on his phone. I'm like, I'm saying on air, not. We at haven't lunch. we haven't even seen each other all day, and you're sitting on your phone when we have quality time together. I was like, am I boring you? Oh, Car does that to me all the time. Well, do, and to be fair, I do that to her all the time. Do but, what? But she. 
We're we're we have an understanding where like one of us is going to be on the phone a lot because usually it's her. Did like, you no, kill a gigantic again. cricket in there just now? No, because it's like twitching on the ground by the door. That's it's so fucking, fucking huge. <laughs> what? You stuck out another animal <laughs> hold house? On, hold on. Hey. <laughs> Rest in peace, Charlotte. <laughs> Too Aww. soon. I want you, to see the cricket. It's you gigantic. Mur- he murdered another cricket. No, Charlotte was, I know, a, Charlotte spider. was a spider. But he murdered, he murdered another bug. <laughs> you hear him there. He's like, what the hell? It's that cricket from yesterday. Yeah, it's there's, huge. There's, yeah, there was a huge. There's some pretty big crickets around. I know we're in the. There's a big cricket on the We're floor. in the middle. Not lying. We're in the His middle. His leg was like. I see it's still twitching. We're in the middle of a city, <laughs> but like when you go in our backyard, I don't feel like we're in the city. Yeah, it's not bad. That's even you what know, Mark like said. You kind of stuck you can, yeah, Mark, you No, that's yard. not what Mark said when he pulled up. He goes, what the fuck kind of ghetto did they move to? I'm like, what ghettos have you joking. been to? Wow. Joking. You could be honest. <laughs> we pulled down the side, the no, side street and there was like, like no ghetto. lights. I was like, what the fuck? There is a big LED light in front of our house, though. Yeah. It's pretty cool. But yeah, but you go in the backyard, you hear crickets and it's all like, you know, it's quiet. If I don't hear frogs, it's not country. Okay, well, I'm not saying we're, I feel Boy. Like we're in the country, but... Are what? you allowed to, like, do stuff outside? Like, you could put up a like privacy fence if you wanted to? Yeah. You should. Um, I don't know. The neighbor on the one side seems pretty cool. I don't really feel like we I don't like to. neighbors, so... You know, I'm also not... Also, get a pool. Super... Yeah, get okay, a, calm down. I know. Get, um, get a privacy fence so I can lay naked in the backyard. I'm not I'm down. super big. Google on, like, Maps just gets me naked in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Google oh Maps God. gets you naked. What do they have to do? <laughs> oh, that's how <laughs> I thought about it too. You know, <laughs> like you know how, like, what if you were <laughs> like Google me? Maps really gets me going? I'm scrolling through the map. <laughs> no, like I'm like laying in the backyard naked, and Google Maps takes a picture, and then people are like, "Oh, there's a naked body." <laughs> fucking fucking <laughs> like, drone goes flying <laughs> over. Snap, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is our house. Oh no, there's <laughs> Natasha's naked body. He's trying to show people where you live on your phone. Like, check it out. Let me let me go to let me go to satellite view. Look, there's our backyard. Oh my god, hang on. That's, <laughs> you don't want to see that. Is that Natasha? <laughs> that so was a like, nipple. It's have fine. Have you seen those things on um like like clickbait things that it's like the creepiest things you see on Google Maps? And I've seen like, some mm-hmm. weird shit on Google Maps. Some people like yeah, it, that shit freaks me. I'm pretty out. sure I've seen a couple murders on Google Maps. Yeah, pretty awesome. like that person dragging the. Something there was like a body. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my I kind of feel like that's fake. I feel like it's awesome, mm-hmm. dude. I'm excited about like seeing stuff like that. I don't know. That's why I like murder shows. I love um, true crime shows. You were saying earlier that you you've watched a lot of murders on Live Leak. Yeah, you should go on watch people die. I was Reddit. gonna say that. I don't. Uh, I feel like that's way worse. There's some pretty fucked up shit on there. I've seen some <laughs> fucked up shit. Go to crazyshit.com, everyone, if you want to see some shit. Yeah. Like, there's a, there's like I've been trolling Reddit a lot lately. There's there's everything on crazy shit from fucking murder to porn and weird shit. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of like, they do a fight Friday thing. What? Yeah. And that it's sounds like, awesome. It's all the greatest fights from that week. Oh and, my God. World yeah. star. Yeah, but better. It's so I just looked up like, um, like weird photos that people that were caught on like Google earth as okay. the, as the vehicle, you know, drives around. Yeah. There's like a picture of somebody who gave birth on the sidewalk and somebody's like <laughs> holding the baby up. Let me see this. This is the umbilical cord awesome. on the side of the road. I feel like this is so fake. Let me see it. I mean, it totally could be fake, but yeah, who knows? Hell? Let me see it. Ew. Yeah, she just like gave birth on the sidewalk. And then there's like two people waving at the drone or whatever it is going by and they're like definitely having sex on the hood of the car. <laughs> <laughs> on the hood of the car? Yeah, it says, it says like, it says that? Google Maps in the bottom corner and it oh, shows I'm the little like directional. The, I'm not thinking the hood. I'm thinking like the top the roof. of the car. Oh, the roof. Roof of the car. I could do oh that. okay. That makes sense then. What the? Like, hey. I have not done that, but Wait. I was thinking like the roof of the car. <laughs> I've never done that either for the record. Oh, a man with a prostitute. Oh. Um, a topless person sunbathing at the beach. Oh, it's gonna be me. A naked guy running out of the back of his house and barbecuing. That's, that's that would be me at sixty. Yeah. At sixty. <laughs> at sixty. Some crazy shit on there. Google Maps the right beard, now. We have an old. Wonder. We have an old guy across the street. That yesterday, what? The other day, he was just sitting in he his was, underwear. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting in his <laughs> underwear. You know those like the things that you like the, the old the people walker. that like yeah. yeah, and then you can sit on it. He's just sitting there in his underwear, and then like five minutes later, he's just gone. <laughs> like he didn't. We didn't even see him go inside. He no, just, he just shadow left. people. The snap got him. Yeah. He, he oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. But it, Mr. Stark. I don't feel so good. 
<laughs> Poor guy. Spoiler. My mom called me and she Spoiler. was like, oh yeah, we, okay, we rented Infinity Wars. I said, grab some tissues. And she's like, oh shit, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we're spoiling Infinity War by now, then you are clearly not a fan. Then you're yeah. living under a rock. I'm dying here. I'm trying Why didn't you change your pants? Take your pants off, Fox. <sighs> Take them off. Just take them off. I'm good. Let my big old gut flop out. (laughs) I changed the second we got home. (laughs) No, I just was too lazy to do that. What are we doing tomorrow? Oh, we have that fucking barbecue tomorrow. You got a barbecue to go to? (laughs) It's not like any of my coworkers listen to it. Because in case one of her coworkers ever does listen, I didn't want to. We didn't say anything negative. You said fucking barbecue. That doesn't sound negative. We're just so busy that that having. I don't even know. If, I don't if even. Va- think she's Vox is barbecuing. like Mark though. Mark just doesn't want to go do stuff. Yeah, That's true. I, I don't even think we're, she's barbecuing. I think we're having like ham and like sides. I want. I want the. Food, I want the food shots, from a barbecue. I don't want to go shots. to a barbecue. I just want to play Spider Man at this. Point I don't like people. I just want to unpack. Man. I know. I want to sleep and unpack. Uh, uh, I have to work tomorrow. What time? Oh, whenever. Oh, are you go. working at? Yeah. Oh, wait, you working at Blake's? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know if I could say that out loud. I don't know why. Oh, whoops. Okay, well. We've talked about their fucking yeah. show before. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Talk about their alcohol. They should be sponsoring this bitch-ass yeah. podcast. Yeah, Let's we go. had some of it yeah. today. Yeah, we did. I did not. You should have. You guys should have came to lunch with us. Yeah. Uh, oh, we did a nice lunch. I didn't Car see your like, message. And oh, that. I gotta go to a baby shower. And Mark I mean, is like, fuck you guys, I hate you. I, I was working. No, you weren't. Yeah. I was doing what you should be doing. Oh, roasted, yeah, roasted. Yeah, I called. I called my partner in crime, KZ. And yeah, was yeah. like, hey, listen, buddy. Tommy Paintball's a fucking mess. Right I know. Now. I was like, hey, buddy, let's just you know, yeah. uh, we're in trouble. Yeah, now, you're the one who lives here. Why are you in trouble? There's a lot of shit to do. Oh, yeah, a lot of shit It looked very cleaned up. Like it no, looked like a lot of stuff not. needed paint. There was when I drove through there, a lot of stuff was cleaned up. It just needed paint. The third row, there was some stuff that was still out in the in the it's pathway. A but yeah. a, a bunch of your props and stuff are still in the hayride right now. Hey, why do they move True. it over there? Because nobody has moved it. It's if anybody's going to move it, it's going to be us or Casey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. back all next week though. So we'll I know. Be fine. We'll be just. And I'm going to give. Dandy. I'm going to give him a dozen hugs. <coughs> a dozen. Hugs. The first day. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Like we in a to, row. We yeah, really probably. need to get him down here. I agree. Has he listened? Uh, uh, you know what? He might have. I don't know. All I got to do He's is text him. He's a busy man. If I text him, he'll listen. I talk to him on PlayStation every now, every now and then. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he he, he wants to play Madden against me, but I won't buy Madden for PlayStation because I already have it on Xbox. Yeah, but if it comes up for free like Destiny 2 did yep, this month. Yep. Did you download that? Yep. Okay, good. And I downloaded I, God of War 3 Remastered. And I I have the season pass for Seaside the new operators, and they're a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna have to get Spider Man. It the looks car is it jerking looks so off good. the air right now. So, car. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jeez. What? Oh, go okay. ahead. Go ahead. All right. Well, well I think we're doing this that's been yeah. Yeah, it's 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 time getting... flew. We were having so much fun talking to each other and listening and crying. Uh, we hey, hope you hey, enjoyed hey. this episode or not. I mean, if you didn't, we don't sucks. care. Watch the listen yeah. To the other we episodes. talk about whatever we want. If you want to hear something else, throw us some suggestions. Yeah, bitch. You could go to our website at tf4podcast dot com. Um, you can check out some of our episodes, download them, uh, read our blog posts. Um, you can also listen on your go-to podcast app like iTunes, Podcast Addict, CastBox, Podbean. You can um, subscribe, leave us a review, rating. You can throw us some suggestions about things that you'd want to listen to. You could also throw some suggestions to us on Facebook. Um, like, subscribe to us on Facebook. I don't know if you subscribe on Facebook. My you can bad. get notifications. You can follow us on Facebook. You can get notifications. We put a lot of stuff up on there. Um, we will be moving to a little bit more live stuff soon, hopefully. Um, for sure. So for a sure. lot of our live stuff is going to go through Facebook, so you definitely want to stay connected there. What are you doing? Um, and it's the easiest way to message us and get communication because it reaches all four of us at the same time. Yeah. Um, we've got Redbubble where you can buy all kinds of different stuff to buy shit. Um, to support our logo and support us individually too, because like you can get Mark sticker on there. You can yeah. get a, a mug with you, Mark stuff, you and eventually you'll get. Yeah, eventually get the option of um, mine, boxes, and Natasha's as well. Um, and we do appreciate the support because every purchase does go to help support our growth. 
um, and we like seeing that you guys rocking that stuff every day. We've got YouTube. You can like and subscribe to our channel um, up there, TF4 Podcast. Um, if you hit the bell notification on there, it'll tell you whenever we put new episodes up um, if you want to use that for something to listen to. Yeah. And, of course, if you like us so much that you'd like to help us grow financially, you can become a patron at patreon.com. Just search for TF4 Podcast, and you'll see a variety of different reward tiers where we can give you awesome stuff in exchange for your support. Shout um, out to Dustin and Steve. I'm yes. just going to do that, but oh, I guess Mark's just taking over fucking now. Punch, bitch. Yeah. Um, all of this stuff is linked on our website, um, and I'm pretty sure it's all linked on Facebook as well. So, yeah, yeah, it might be. We don't know. Fox, did you link it on Facebook? Uh, I didn't link it on Facebook. I don't think it did. It's might on be. our it's on it's our on website. The page. It's it on is the on the website, though. You can go to the About Us page and see yeah. all the links. Yeah. But uh, thank you guys for listening. I'm Kara. I'm Natasha. I am Vox. I'm Mark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye. Immediate, immediate silence. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.